I was gonna do a video about Vince McMahon and and him firing everybody and the so-called budget cuts, even though WWE is a billion dollar company. But right now, I love I left the house at eight o'clock. These fuckers are still working on the fucking roof. Roof should have been down by now. They up here like they on fucking vacation. Chilling on the truck and shit. Patting their stomachs like they 300. <sighs> it's six of y'all. This goddamn roof should have been down by now. Got shit in the trunk. Got parked across the goddamn street. I can't even carry it. I'm not even gonna carry this shit. Fuck it. I'm gonna have to just leave it in here until later. <sighs> How many motherfuckers does it take to a one goddamn roof? Ten hours have passed and y'all still in this fucking roof? Is, is y'all doing the roof of y'all? Is y'all building a whole new goddamn house? Which which one is it? This is how you spend a Monday in Florida. Speaking of Monday, that brings me to what I started this video off with first: WWE and. Them firing everybody. Bitch, let me throw a shit in my yard. Hey, room too. Anyway. WWE has fired the Iconics, Lana, Ruby Riot, Chelsea Green, Alistair Black, Andrade, Rusev, so many others. And, and and they say it's budget cuts. Some people say, oh, well, they were useless anyway. Motherfucker, really? You don't think with a proper push, Ruby Riot could have did something? With a decent push, Rusev could have been champion, like he should have been by now? A, a, a decent push with Andrade or Alistair could have done. I know they're not leaving their shit. I know they come back for their shit. All right, I'll stick a for sale sign on it, and that should be gone. My problem is the excuse of it's a budget cut. There shouldn't be a budget cut with WWE. There shouldn't even be a such thing as a budget cut with WWE. You're a billion dollar company. You have more, you have ample time to use every ounce of talent you have on your roster. There shouldn't be 55 rematches a week. Monday Night Raw is a three hour program. It shouldn't be the same matches every week. It shouldn't be the same boring ass storyline every week. SmackDown is a little bit better, but they got some stuff they need to work out. But the whole budget cuts and they were useless and all that is bullshit. If people don't know, Ruby is a hell of a talent. Go back and watch some of her indie matches. Chelsea Green's pretty good. I don't know what the fuck she was doing in Impact, swinging off monkey bars and shit, but hey. And now you got half of those guys in AEW. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't really feel AEW. And there's no AEW hate. It's just AEW is kind of, eh. Plus, AEW has started a trend where the only people who are getting main event time or screen time or getting the big matches are Cody and the Young Bucks and Omega. And it's like, you can already see the outcome of how their matches are going to go. 
Now, I don't know why Kenny Omega has started looking like Triple H. I don't know why. I don't really understand that. But I might start actually checking out AEW. Not just because they signed Andrade or Alistair or Malachi or whatever he calls himself, but I might start watching because they have been putting on some interesting stories. And I'm I'm very interested in the Jericho and MJF stuff. But in all honesty, I feel like Vince McMahon just needs to go ahead and just sell the company. Not sell it, like go out of business, sell it, but like sell it or either step down and let someone else run it. Three big reasons why. One, he's out of touch. Two, he's hiring people who have no idea how to run a show. They don't know the wrestler's name. And half of them are sitcom writers for a professional wrestling program. And three, because it, it's time. The whole product sucks. SmackDown is okay. NXT is all right. It's, uh, NXT keeps bringing in new people every week when <laughs> we're still trying to get used to the newest people. So, I f- so after this, I feel like if they're going to do any major changes, it needs to start with the head of it all. And that's Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon needs to step down. Now, I know people say, oh, it's, then just let Triple H run it or whatever the case may be. That's for all fine and dandy. But truth be told, it doesn't matter who's in charge. Anybody can be in charge of a program, but if you don't know how to run shit, you just don't know how to run shit. And if you won't cut anything, cut cut the women's title. What's the point of the women's title? You cut every tag team. The only tag teams you have are the same three teams. And now he's bringing in NXT talent, but it's like, why? You, you're basically going to do the same thing. Throw them in tag divisions or either throw them in useless matches. And I'm be honest, I'm not excited for Chauncey Blackheart. I've never really felt Chauncey Blackheart. I really don't. Um, Tegan, I like Tegan. But Tegan, I feel like one bad move is going to be injury prone. And now I I feel Tony, but I think Tony's going to be one of those enhancement type talents just there to put other people over. And I'm sure if Triple H have his way, one of those three is going to be the next champion, knowing how he likes his NXT stars. But that's it though and then they're talking about fans are going to be coming back this week but it's like you're bringing fans back to what the same matches the same Roman Reigns dominating everybody the same repetitive stories and I for one wouldn't be surprised if fans come back and it's little to none I wouldn't be surprised if they have like a low fans attendance and then you find out that Brock and Cena are not coming back. You find out that most of the stars are on the injured list and some that were training to come back aren't coming back. And then they keep saying there's going to be some big surprises at SummerSlam. But to be honest, I don't think there's going to be nothing for SummerSlam. And like most... I haven't really watched the product in a while. I haven't watched. I watched the network more than I watched the actual product. I'll go. I went all the way back to the Attitude Era, up to the Ruthless Aggression Era today. Because I do. I just don't care about the current product. And I know people say, "Well, they gotta get rid of PG," but it's not just PG. It's bad storytelling. It's the bad rematches. It's the bad overall product. It's just bad. The whole thing is just bad. WWE right now reminds me of the PG version of ECW. 
That's what it reminds me of. It's if it's three hours. Uh, I wasn't even planning to talk about WWE, but since I have to sit here, because they blocking the driveway with all this damn equipment, but it's okay, because when I go in here, I'm going to get a for sale sign and sell all this shit they left. But in the meantime, but in the meantime, I'm going to head out. You all stay safe out there, okay?